Welcome to the AFCON on KVJ series. My name is Okote Amwakwata. I'm so glad to be back on your screens and I'm so happy to have you back here watching this series. Thank you very much for being a subscriber and thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, take this opportunity to click on the subscription button and click the notification bell to stay updated on the King T Business Journal. Without wasting much time, I want us to dive right into today's episode and today we are going to talk about the individual teams that have qualified to the 2023 African Cup of Nations which has been hosted in the Republic of La Côte d'Ivoire as well as the groups and our little predictions as to who we think may go all the way to get the trophy. Stick and stay with us, we will be right back and continue this series. So today we will be looking at the 24 teams that have qualified for the 2023 African Cup of Nations. These 24 teams have been grouped into six groups of four, with Group A set to be played out at the Alassane Ouattara Stadium in Abidjan. Group B will be based in Abidjan as well, but they will be playing at the Felix Hofwe Boigny Stadium in the capital. And then Group C will take us all the way to the capital city of Yamusokro, where the teams will be playing at the Charles Conan Bani Stadium. And then from Group C, we head into Group D. We'll be taking us into Boaké, where they will be playing at the Stade de la Paix in Boaké. From Group D, we will be moving into Group E, which will be taking us to the northern part of La Côte d'Ivoire in the city of Kohogo, where they will be playing at the Ahmad Gong Koulibaly Stadium. From Group E, we move into Group F, which will be based in the coastal city of San Pedro, where the teams will be playing at the Laurent Poku Stadium. Now let's take a look at each group and the team's profiles. Group A, Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire are the host nation of this tournament. The nickname is Les Elephants, also meaning the elephants. The first AFCON was in the year 1961 and the best results to date was when they won the tournament in 1992 and 2015, both against the Black Stars of Ghana. The all-time top scorer is Didier Drogba with a total of 123 goals. Côte d'Ivoire is currently ranked 49th on the FIFA World Rankings. The coach is Jean-Louis Gosset and the captain is Serge Auré. Nigeria Nigeria is nicknamed the Super Eagles. The first appeared at the AFCON in the year 1963 and the best result so far is when they won the tournament in 1980, 1994 and 2013. The all-time top scorer of the Nigerian national team is Rashidi Yakini with a total of 37 goals. Nigeria is currently ranked 42nd on the FIFA ranking. Nigeria is coached by Jose Pizero and the captain is Moses Simon. Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea is nicknamed in Zalang Nacionale, also meaning the National Thunder. Equatorial Guinea's first appearance at the AFCON was when they hosted the tournament in the year 2012. The best results came when the second hosted it in 2015 when they placed fourth. The all-time top scorer of Equatorial Guinea is Emilio Insue with a total of 17 goals. Equatorial Guinea is currently ranked 88 on the FIFA World Rankings. The coach of this team is Juan Micha. The captain is Emilio Insue. Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau is nicknamed g meaning the wild dogs. The first appeared at the AFCON in 2017. The best result so far has been in the group stage. The all-time top scorer for Guinea-Bissau is Nandi Ko, 
who has scored a total of nine goals. Guinea-Bissau is currently ranked 103rd on the FIFA World Rankings and the coach is Bankup Kande. Captain of Guinea-Bissau national team is Jonas Mendes. With a look at the teams in Group A, which is La Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea and Guinea-Bissau, it is fair to say that this is a very, very balanced group and we are going to have a talk to predict who makes it through. But um, looking at the experience and the home advantage, I'm definitely going to pick Côte d'Ivoire to go through as group winners. Nigeria seems to be struggling, but I still give them that edge to qualify as well as runners-up. Equatorial Guinea might just make it into the third place position. It's time to dive into Group B. Egypt. Egypt are nicknamed the Pharaohs. Egypt played in the first AFCON in the year 1957. Of course, they are the record holders winning the tournament in the year 1957, 1959, 1986, 1998 and the trouble from 2006, 2008 to 2010. The all-time top scorer for the Egyptian national team is Hassan Hassan with a total of 68 goals. Egypt is currently ranked 33rd on the FIFA World Rankings. It is coached by Rio Victoria and the captain is Liverpool striker Mohamed Salah. Ghana Ghana are nicknamed the Black Stars. The first AFCON they played in was in the year 1963. Ghana has won the tournament a record four times in the year 1963, 1965, 1978 and 1982. The all-time top scorer for the Black Stars is Samoa Jan with a total of 51 goals. Ghana are currently ranked 61st on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach of the Ghana national team is Chris Hilton with Andre Ayu as the captain. Cape Verde Cape Verde are nicknamed Tuboroys Aziz or the Blue Sharks. Cape Verde first participated at the African Cup of Nations in the year 2013. The best results came in the WTA when they reached the quarterfinals. The all-time top scorer for the Cape Verdean team is Heldon Ramos with a total of 15 goals. Cape Verde is currently ranked 73rd on the FIFA World Ranking. The team is coached by Pedro Litao Brito and captain by Yosima Diaz, a.k.a. Vozinha. Mozambique Mozambique is nicknamed the Mambos. They first appeared at the African Cup of Nations in the year 1986. Their best result has been in the group stage. The all-time top scorer for Mozambique is Tico Tico and they are currently ranked 111th on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach of the Mozambican team is Chequino Conde. looks to be a very interesting group with two of the heavyweights of African football. Ghana and Egypt has a total of 11 trophies amongst them and it's going to be a very very tough battle for the top spot. But I still take Egypt to take this group. Ghana will follow in and maybe Cape Verde. Mozambique, we see what they can bring in this tournament. It's time to explore Group C, Senegal. Senegal are nicknamed the Lions of Teranga. Senegal's first appearance at the AFCON was in the year 1965 and we know they are the current defending champions winning the tournament in 2021. The all-time top scorer for the Senegalese national team is Sadio Mane with a total of 40 goals. Senegal is currently ranked 20th on the FIFA World Rankings and it is coached by Aliou Cisse with a captain, Khalidou Koulibaly. Cameroon. 
The Indomitable Lions is the nickname of the Cameroonian national team. This team first appeared at the AFCON in the year 1970, winning the tournament on five occasions in 1984, 1998, 2000, 2002 and 2017. The all-time top scorer for the Cameroonian national team is Samuel Eto with a total of 56 goals. Cameroon is currently ranked 46th on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach of the Cameroonian team is Rigobert Song with Vincent Abubakar leading the charge for the Lions. Guinea. Guinea is nicknamed Sili Nacional or the National Elephants. Guinea first appeared at the AFCON in 1970. Their best results came in the year 1976 when they finished as runners up. The all time top scorer for the Guinean national team is Ibrahima Diallo. They currently rank 80th on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach of Guinea is Kaba Diarawa and the captain is Nabi Keita. The Gambia. The Gambia are also known as this. I think we'll see it's going to be a group of that in this tournament. Let's see how things go. But I am going to take Cameroon and Senegal to come out of this group without any bruises. But we are going to see how Gambia and Guinea are going to fare as the tournament progresses. Now let's head into Group D. Algeria. Algeria are also known as the Desert Foxes. They first appeared at the AFCON in the year 1968. The best result of the Algerian team is when they won the tournament in the year 1990 and 2019. The all-time top scorer for the Algerian national team is Islam Slimani with a total of 44 goals. Algeria is currently ranked 30th on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach is Jamel Belmadi and the captain is Riyad Mahrez. Burkina Faso Burkina Faso are also known as Lese Talon or the Stalins. The first appearance for this team was in the year 1978. Their best result was when they finished as runners up in 2013. The all-time top scorer for the Burkina Bay national team is Mumuni Dagano with a total of 34 goals. Burkina Faso are currently ranked 57 on the FIFA World Rankings with a coach Hubert Velud. The captain of the Burkina Bay national team is Bertrand Traore. Mauritania. Mauritania are also known as the Lions of Chinguetti. The first appeared at the AFCON in the year 1985. They are yet to get out of the group stages. The all-time top scorer for Mauritania is Sheikh El Kali Mulaye Ahmed with a total of 13 goals. Mauritania are currently ranked 105th on the FIFA World Rankings. The team is coached by Amir Abdu and the captain is Abubakar Kamara. Angola. Angola are also known as the Palancas Negras. They first appeared at the AFCON in the year 1996. Angola's best results in the AFCON came when they reached the quarterfinals in 2008 and 2010 when they hosted it. The top scorer for Angola is Fabrice Michael. They are currently ranked 117th on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach of Angola is Pedro Goncalves and the captain is Alfredo Kulembe Ribeiro.
looks to be very, very interesting with Algeria and Burkina Faso leading the charges out here. With a poor showing in the previous tournament, Algeria definitely has something to correct in this tournament. So I think Algeria and Burkina Faso are going to sail through. Maybe Angola is going to come in third place, but let's see what this is going to turn out to be. Let's say hello to the teams in Group E. Tunisia. Tunisia are nicknamed the Carthage Eagles. Tunisia first appeared at the Afcon in the year 1962. The best result so far was when they won the tournament as host in 2004. The top scorer for Tunisia is Issam Jema with a total of 36 goals. They currently rank 28th on the FIFA World Ranking. The coach of Tunisia is Galel Kadri and the captain is Yusuf Amsakni. Mali Mali are also known as the Eagles. Mali first appeared at the Afcon in the year 1972 and that was when they reached the finals and ended up as runners-up. The top scorer for Mali is Seydou Keita with a total of 25 goals. They are currently ranked 51st on the FIFA World Ranking. The team is coached by Eric Chele and the captain is Hamari Traore. South Africa South Africa is also known as Bofana Bofana. They first appeared at the Afcon in the year 1996 and that was when they won the tournament as host. The top scorer for South Africa is Benny McCarthy. They are currently ranked 66th on the FIFA World Ranking. The team is coached by Hugo Bruce and the team is on a captaincy rotation policy. Namibia Namibia is also known as the Brave Warriors. Their debut tournament was in the year 1998 and they are yet to get out of the group stages. Namibia's current top scorer is Peter Shalulile with a total of 16 goals. Namibia is currently ranked 115th on the FIFA World Rankings. The team is coached by Colin Benjamin and the captain is Petros Chitembi. looks to be a very balanced group just as group A with Tunisia, Mali, South Africa and Namibia. All these teams are in a very very good form at the current stage and I think it's going to be very tough to call out. I might not really want to stick my head out to call in this group because there's going to be a lot of surprises from group E. But let's see, I think Mali is going to win this group. Just maybe South Africa will come in second place but we'll see what happens. Tunisia might get that third spot. Let's see how it goes. The final group is Group F. Morocco. Morocco are nicknamed the Atlas Lions. They first appeared at the Afcon in the year 1972 and won the tournament in the year 1976. The all-time top scorer for the Moroccan national team is Ahmed Faraz. They are currently the highest ranked African team sitting on the 13th position on the FIFA World Ranking. The team is coached by Walid Regragui and the captain is Roman Saiz. The Democratic Republic of Congo. DR Congo are nicknamed the Leopards. Their first appearance at the Afcon was in the year 1965. The best result was when they won the tournament in 1968 and 1974. The all-time top scorer for DR Congo is Dremesi Imbokani with a total of 22 goals. The team is currently ranked 67th on the FIFA World Ranking. DR Congo is coached by Sebastian De Zabri and the captain is Chancel Mbemba.
Zambia. Zambia are also popularly known as Chipolupolo, meaning the copper bullets. They first appeared at the Yafcon in the year 1974 and they famously won it in 2012 as the Massive Underdogs. The all-time top scorer for the Zambian national team is Geoffrey Chitalu. They are currently ranked 84th on the FIFA World Ranking. The team is coached by veteran Avram Grant and the captain is Lumbambo Musonda. Tanzania Tanzania are nicknamed the Typhus Stars. They first appeared at the AFCON in the year 1980. The best result so far has been in the group stages. The top scorer for Tanzania has been Imrisho Ngasa with a total of 25 goals. They are currently ranked 121st on the FIFA World Ranking. The team is coached by Adele Amroche and the captain is Mbwena Samata. Group F has Africa's best performing team at the World Cup in Morocco, DR Congo, Zambia and Tanzania. There's going to be a lot of surprise from Group F, trust me on this. I'm tipping Morocco to win this group, Zambia to come in second place, maybe Tanzania in third. We're going to see how things pan out. That is my predictions of the group stages. It's just my predictions. The real deal will start when the games take off in Cote d'Ivoire. Some talented young players to look out for during this tournament are Peter Shalulele from Namibia, Victor Osimen from Nigeria, Ibrahim Sangare from Cote d'Ivoire, Mohamed Kudus from Ghana, Nicholas Jackson from Senegal. Moriba Koroma from Guinea, Yves Bisuma from Mali, Nazare Mazwari from Morocco, and Patson Daka from Zambia. In conclusion, the African Cup of Nations is here. The tournament is starting in a few days. Cote d'Ivoire is ready to host the rest of the continent. We have crossed our T's and dotted our I's. I am as excited as you are. Stick and stay with the Kente Business Journal. And as we have promised, we are going to bring you the best of analysis as this tournament progresses. My name is Ekote Amwakwata, your host for the AFCON on KBJ. Follow the hashtag AFCON on KBJ on all our social media platforms. That is the Kente Business Journal. It's bye for now. I'll see you in our next episode. Mãozinha, agora é esse ano, ei, ei, ei.